Yes guys, as part of this session we are going to see some more interview questions on data structures. Okay, so we are going to discuss in this session how to find unique characters in a sequence of repeated characters of a particular string. Think that this is the string. Here we have to find the unique characters. You can see here D U or G A D U or G A. Durga Durga. It is getting repeated, but I have to find the repeated characters. Here you may think that in different ways. Okay, you uh, you might be thinking like that. Uh, if it is getting repeated somewhere, I'll do. Uh, I mean, uh, you can do this in different ways, but that doesn't work because you have to use uh, some other instance here. What are the characters which are getting repeat that should not get insert in a particular instance that is the simple logic here you may think that d so i'll take first this character and i'll check whether it is getting repeated in this further string or not if it is getting repeated so i'll take only this one and i'll you i mean you may think that to print only that one okay think that okay good according to your logic and come here okay you have printed u or g a and what about this d once again you are going to print d because it has been already printed right or it has been already inserted in a particular insert which is containing unique characters that is not the logic the pure logic here is in i mean uh, further you may get a better logic also but as part of this session we are going to describe one logic okay you try to enhance based on this logic okay so what i am going to do here is first i am going to take the particular character and i am going to put that in the string buffer okay string buffer or any string okay any one instance by using any utility i mean uh, collections uh, framework that is collection interface implementation class objects i am going to insert this particular character if it is already containing i am not going to insert that one after completing the entire iteration what i am going to do here is i just print that particular instance in which i have inserted unique characters okay that is the main intention of this particular logic or else if you want to do just by using no i mean uh, you should not use any predefined uh, instances then you can go for a linked list there you are not using any instances you are going to create your own instance that is a linked list a particular user defined data type and there you are going to insert the unique characters and you are going to check whether it is already available don't insert if it is not available insert it at last after completing this complete iteration you are going to print that particular that is you are going to traverse and print the particular data of that node that is one way but as part of this session i am going to show you by using string buffer or string okay now in this we are having uh, in some interviews they might be asking you like find fourth repeated character what is the fourth repeated character here d is the first repeated one d is the first repeated one and u is the second repeated one r is the third one g is the fourth one how to find the fourth repeated character it's so simple if you analyze it it will become very easier to us okay now this is one and other one is the pyramid pattern i know that uh, you guys are all well aware of this pattern but the main intention of this session is to make you guys confident in it and in coming further sessions we are going to see some complex uh, interview questions also okay and first let us take this unique character as i said the logic will be the same thing and here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to pass a particular iterated character into a particular method okay in that method i'm going to check whether it is available or not if it is already available i'm going to return some boolean value so if it is boolean value in the main method don't worry i'm going to show the exact code when uh, we are writing set of instructions okay there if it is written in a particular boolean i'm going to write certain conditions okay so if it is if it is the first repeated character i'm going to increment the particular variable that is a flag one okay not a flag one it is like the local variable okay so if that value is equal to equal to this nth one let us think that the interviewer has asked you like find the fourth repeated character then you have to take one variable like lo local variable so increment that one for each and everything okay for each and every repeated character let it be like i initially i value will be as zero if it is d so just return one particular boolean from other method to the caller method so there you just write one condition such that i value should get increment to one and if you were at u just increment 
second one and third one and fourth one if it is four then you have to print that particular character that's it and some interviews may ask you what is the fourth repeated character index it's so simple and also you can do that by using even utility implement that is utility classes also collection interface implementation class objects also you can do it it's very easy but the main intention is you have to develop your own methods that is your own api that is very important okay and as part of that one here it is very important how you have to think in uh, writing the logic is uh, i'll use some tricks because you think that these are some uh, numeric uh, values uh, which are all available to the compiler and for the jvm by default you are not required to think anything whatever the code you are writing and whatever the output you are going to see will not have any i mean like any relation but you have to think everything in imaginary things in coming part of the sessions we are going to see how to find the nth number of particular series if it is like a fibonacci series think that fibonacci series is 10 sorry 0 1 1 and 2 3 5 like that it is there i want to find 100th number in the fibonacci series and i should not print the fibonacci series that is also very important it comes in backtracking it is one of the problem analysis technique okay we are going to see even that one it's just a matter but i mean matter of just five or six lines but you have to know the approach you have to know the concept perfectly so if you are uh, having n number of problems based on that particular analysis technique then you have to solve on your own that is the main intention of these sessions okay now let us go for the first one so let it be referred with a string s okay now let us develop it from the scratch so let me take one string a static string s equal to durga durga okay some many repeated characters are there in it we have to find the unique characters in a particular repeated sequence characters which is called as the string okay now let us take one iterative statement and it is always advised to take only while statement because if you are a good programmer and if you don't want to let others to know about your code so always they have to think and they should do some analysis then only they should get an idea about your code so then always go with tricky things okay don't be like uh, don't use for loops these things okay now i plus plus here take one char ch equal to s dot at of i so now initially ch is d right now what i am going to do here is i am going to define one method okay static method okay void m1 which is having an argument as it is my own defined method okay so here what i am going to do here is take one static string itself not at an issue okay static string is one okay okay let it be is one okay so here okay let it be for your understanding sake let us okay in string itself we are not going to consider any utility classes okay now int i equal to 0 and while i is less than s1 dot length currently the length will be as 0 right so because no elements has been inserted into that one okay now you just take you just iterate this one okay now let us take one okay let it be if take one character local variable let it be like s1 dot char c i mean uh, char at of i okay
so now we have to find whether that particular character is available at already created string it is very important how to find that one see so let it be as c h1 because we are having one character here that is we are iterating the main string and we are passing that as an argument to the m1 so now let it be like m1 of c h right okay try to focus it's very important now i passed c h that is d to this m1 method now it will come what is i value it is initially zero so i zero is less than is dot dot s one dot length no it is false it will come out of this one so how to make notice that that particular character is not available in s1 it is so simple what we have to take is take one boolean b equal to false okay and think that here we have to write some conditions let it be we didn't write anything till now okay so now if b so here let me write some piece of conditions that will be very important to us okay now if think that there is nothing in it okay i mean in s1 there is no unique characters so now it will come out of the loop so here if f is false okay you just do one thing you have to insert the particular character in string how you can do that one it is so simple you test you just take s1 dot concat of you just pass that ch okay what is ch it is d so i am passing that one as ch okay even you can take this one as one minute let us check whether if i pass a character as an string as an argument to the concat whether it is going to work or not what is the concat it is e so first let us check whether it's going to work or not okay let it be it is not going to work but how to convert here i am going to give you one very important thing so we all know let us think there is one string yes or s2 equal to a b okay not that one 1 2 3 4 okay so if you iterate this one less than s2 dot length okay i equal to 0 so char ch equal to s2 dot char at of i okay so what will be the value now ch value it will be as 1 so if you print that ch it will give the value as 1 but if you want that particular ch has represented one character in terms of int primitive then it's very difficult you have to write your own code for that it's very tricky thing how we can achieve that one is just uh, we know that by using parts method parts int method we are going to convert a particular string of primitive to the int so that is we are having parse int methods right as an argument you have to pass an integer in format of string then only it will return you the primitive that is you are going to convert an object into the primitive so how to get that one it is so simple we are having in string class one constructor which is going to take an argument as character char array that is primitive char array so how to do that one A new char array you just push this one at that is ch so now you are having a string in instance which is containing a primitive char array that is 1 now you are going to convert that one into the primitive it is so simple now let us take that in j equal to integer dot parts int of s3 now we are go if you print j 
it will give you value as 1 which is of type primitive in it's very important okay that is very important so that is what we are going to do the same logic why i have explained this thing is if it is like something i mean uh, in bigger interview questions there will be the same scenario everything whatever the input you are getting for your uh, method everything will be in terms of strings only there you have to convert the character to the primitive in so why i said is now we have to find the this is also one of the interview question let me tell that one you are having a string okay string s5 equal to 15 7 99 9 okay 15 7 9 9 9 now we have to find sum of all these primitives okay here the separator is this comma okay think that the interviewer asks you you should not use any patterns that is rejects pattern without using compiled version of patterns you have to write the code to find the addition of all these primitives which are available in the format or which are available in the string instance that is also one of the interview question okay it's very important for that what you are going to do here is and this is one in that one and there is also one more question think that s5 is not refer it is not referring this one now s5 is referring other instance it is like 1 2 3 4 5 okay now we have to find the sum of all these primitives 1 2 3 4 5 so now you are going to get one in type of char and two in type of char you have to convert that into the primitive so you have to perform so for that sake i am i am explaining this logic here itself it's very important okay 